Now, the only thing I got to put in here next is the carrots. We do have carrots in, all, in the refrigerator right I don't there. Know. I think I saw some in the drawer. I don't know if they're good. I, I have to throw some out. Okay, well, see if we have any in, in there. And if not, I have no, to I go have get some from the store. Because I got to cook that with the roast. I'm busy. You're going to have to get carrots. Go get carrots. Well, I'll have to go check. And if we don't, then I'm going to have to boil the carrots separate and then put it into the gravy. Either way, it'll work. So... What I'm going to do right now, since I got most of the ingredients here, I've got cloves, bay leaves, onions, um, and potatoes in here. Only thing missing is the carrots that have to go in here. So, over here on the side, I dropped a leaf of bay leaf in the, uh, the vinegar and soy sauce uh, gravy that's going to go over the bird. And I've added some uh, powdered cloves in there and we add a little bit more. Mix it in there, give it a good strong flavor. And now I need to do one more thing, which is to stick some of these whole cloves into the turkey right here. I'll we'll stick one right there. I usually like to put about four of them on each side, but I've got some in the gravy, so I think it'll be okay. Since I've also got powdered uh, uh, garlic, so I'll put one more right here. Got it right. Uh, put a small, put a small one in there, just like that. If you want to, you can put a little butter on top of the turkey so it don't dry out as much. But you can do that. I'm gonna drop one garlic in here, the bottom in there, and let's do another one on this side here. And maybe I can melt butter and put all the. Well, just rub, put put it on top of it before I put it on it. Yeah. I gotta put foil on it since I don't have a pan. So now I'm gonna take this. Uh, I don't know. So now I'm going to pour this over. Over the, the turkey right there. Oh, Robert. Hey, Robert. The one who works at McDonald's. By the way, Robert's still working at McDonald's. And uh, I'm not, uh, Robert, I don't know how many years you've been working at McDonald's. What, 30 years now? I think about 30 years. Let me wave it, Robert. But Robert's been working at the uh, in, for McDonald's company in Hawaii for more than 30 years at least i mean from from the 1980s now our, our friend robert he is the only person with a bone structure the that we no not the same mcdonald's it's not the same robert i'm talking about oh you're talking about robert riddell no Ra the one that i know that from the jc's it looks like frankenstein that paints his face from oh, McDonald's. I was of the owner no, no, you're way off, way off. Um, oh, Tracy, my good friend Tracy Pocheco just joined in here. Let's see if I can bring this. But that's only Robert. I let me see this. That. Yeah, that's the third Robert I know. Actually, I think I know about four Roberts. Let me see if I can bring my Portuguese friend over here. I just know the one My Portuguese owned, friend I, online here. Okay, what was that, babe? I just owned, I knew the one that owned the McDonald's we worked at, at Robert Leopoldino, and we knew Robert Riddell. Who well, worked Robert there. Leopoldino retired, by the way. He doesn't own McDonald's no more because he retired. He used to. Yeah. Okay, Tracy, let me see if I can bring this my this uh, my Portuguese friend over here from Hawaii online. Let me see if I can add him. Add this, this Portuguese online, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, uh, Tracy Pacheco. Let's see if I can bring this bug online here. Eddie, Eddie. Hey, get up, Portuguese. <laughs> hey, what's the scoop? Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, you guys can see it's my good Portuguese friend from Hawaii. Uh, um, hey, Tony D, just to let you know and let your wife know, the Robert yeah. you're talking about is Robert Kuali. Kuali? Yeah, Robert Kuali. The one that works at McDonald's. Yeah, and you know, he's still working at McDonald's, and he's at the Walmart in Hilo. Yeah, yeah, he's the one that he working at Walmart with uh, McDonald's. With. Remember, remember Edward, Edward the Japanese. One, Edward uh, Yoshizawa, when he first be became the manager at the Hilo McDonald's, above downtown Second Save Hilo. Yeah, yeah. You know how I know all this? Uh -huh. Because McDonald's was my very first job yeah. in 1981. Yeah, 1981. That was a good year for us. Yeah. 
Yep, check out Hilo. I'm on yeah. Kino Ole Street and it's raining. It's been raining for the past three, four days. Yeah, well, here in Vegas, it was about, uh, when I went to work yesterday, it was 57 degrees in the morning. Yeah. So me, I okay, now what's the lot. deal with the peanut butter in the background? <laughs> peanut butter in the background? Oh, I saw it's all a cabinet. And the, oh, the peanut butter, you look at peanut butter, it's across our dining table here in Vegas. So look, <laughs> we even get, look, we get the Skippy, the Skippy peanut butter. <laughs> I got to have Skippy. Oh, peanut. you know what you're missing? You know what's missing in that whole area? What? Oh, uh, and you ain't going to find it in Vegas. And You're missing Vegas? the Punalu'u sweet bread. Ah, but you know... Uh, ah, but the, we have sweet but bread. But guess what? You have King King Hawaiian sweet bread? Okay, okay. What's in that, what, what's in that magical package besides the Doritos? Oh, you naughty boy. You got the King's Hawaiian but, uh, sweet rolls, huh? Now, if you look on, if you look on your screen, I was definitely correct because Robert Kuali is yeah. messaging you folks. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, yeah, I see him, Robert Kuali. He's a happy Thanksgiving. He's now, your wife is I very know. Akamai. Your wife is very Akamai because I heard her mention Robert Leopoldino. Robert yeah. Leopoldino, he was a manager at one time in Hilo. He was the manager one time at the McDonald's at the White Kid Kai Shopping Plaza. And the Correct. last I remembered, he was at the Waimea McDonald's. Yes. Yes. Well, 